Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a much needed shopper drop where I go through all of the new makeup on Trend Mood's Instagram page and I share my thoughts with you guys. Lots of new makeup has come out, so let's get into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan and I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And that's what today's video is all about. But first, before we get into that, this is the first video that I'm filming since I've hit 50K. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I have hit 50,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I do currently have a giveaway going on that I posted on Monday, but I do want to do a dedicated 50k giveaway as well. I'm going to wait until next week for the comments of my one that's going on right now to kind of slow down so it doesn't drive me nuts. So there will be an awesome giveaway for the 50k. I've been building up a lot of good luxury products for that one. And yeah, I mean, just thank you so much for believing in my channel watching my videos it really makes the biggest difference youtube has changed my life and i'm so excited to see where my channel will continue to take me but anyways we have a lot a lot a lot of stuff to talk about it's been almost a month since i've done my last shopper drop i'm not gonna go through everything because we know what the heavy hitters are pat mcgrath natasha denona glow by auric yeah but i'm gonna talk about some other things that i kind of missed along the way so we'll start off with this guy by melt cosmetics because i never got the chance to talk about about this so this is their blueprint collection it is currently available on the melt website I don't know if it came out at Sephora I was initially going to pick this up to review for you guys but it only came out on melt and I just like dealing with returns on Sephora so much better so if it had come out on Sephora earlier I would have picked this up because I've been burned by melt too many times you know I don't mind ordering from a brand's main website if I know I like the brand but melt they're a little bit too inconsistent for me to deal with the brand situation so I decided to pass on this one drop it from my list I'm not particularly keen on the colors on myself as what I would wear on an everyday basis like for my channel I was fine picking it up but ultimately it just it's too blue for me the other side is warm and since it didn't come out on Sephora I was like meh so I dropped that from my list I don't find it to be particularly attractive honestly and I did let you guys know about this on my community tab but Charlotte Tilbury did come out with her Lunar New Year collection and it did come out at multiple retailers at this point I decided to pass on these I might end up picking up Sweet Blossom because it looks beautiful but they're very rich colors very bright also and I just don't need that right now I have so many lip products in my collection and we're wearing masks anyways so it kind of hurt me not to purchase these because I always purchase the Charlotte Tilbury releases and the packaging of this is gorgeous but I just couldn't justify it this time but I will say I if these stay on during a Sephora sale I want to pick up that lightest shade Sweet Blossom it is beautiful also I wasn't going to talk about this but I figured I would share about this Tartlet the Juicy Amazon Clay Eyeshadow Palette I have a few Tarte palettes in my collection but I'm not a big Tarte fan they aren't my favorite brand by any stretch at all but this palette does it not look like a morphe palette to you i swear there was a morphe palette that just came out that looks exactly like that so no i, I will be dropping that from my list i'm not interested in that at all and then i I never got to update you guys on this. It's already out on the market. I'm pretty far down on trend mood right now, by the way, which is why I'm talking about older things right now. We'll get to the good stuff, don't worry. But Pat McGrath came out with their Crimson Couture Lip Kit. She played us all with the reveal. We were so excited to see what it was, and it was just a red lip kit. And honestly, same thing with the Charlotte Tilbury. There is no way, shape, or form I could justify purchasing a really expensive lip item right now. It just, it was an underwhelming release for me. So no. No, I did not pick that up. And then I got a couple questions about the ABH Iced Out collection. This didn't interest me at all. And it's just, it looks like a bunch of clear products. But I will say I did hear some very nice things about the highlighter and about the eyebrow clear gel. Also, still not interested in it at all. Like this highlighter, if it was Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath, you know I'd be all over it. But I'm, ABH does have good highlighters, but this collection was weird to me it didn't scream anything out to me at all 
Okay, this is funny. So YSL, I think I'm going to pre-order this. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot to. I meant to. But you're able to mix your own custom lip color with this tech thing. I watched a tech video with Jose. I don't watch tech videos, but he's into it. And I guess there was this tech show where it's really big and all of the new tech items are released or not released, but they're shown, revealed. This is the word I was looking for. They were revealed. And this was on that video. And I was like, I should get that for a video. That would be really fun. I need to pre-order that. It's available for pre-order. So no promises that I'll remember to pick this up, but I, I do want to. I think it would make a fun video and could be something really cool. I don't know how functional it would be for makeup artistry, but we'll see. I'm, I'm intrigued. I think I'm intrigued enough to make a video out of it. All right, let's talk about this heavy hitter right here that I know you guys were curious about. Glow by Auric. If you don't know, this is Samantha Ravindal's makeup brand that she has been teasing for quite some time and I have to say it looks very very luxurious I'm I'm very very intrigued so this will be available on January 26 one of the first items that's coming out is a radiant illuminizer you can mix it with skincare or foundation and then there's also a smoke reflect which is an eye duo which has a pressed shadow and then a cream shadow it reminds me a lot of Tom Ford that product in particular Particular, but honestly these products look extremely luxe now they're not super cheap the glow lust is $45 and then the eyeshadows are $39 each this is relatively luxurious pricing a little bit below that but the higher end of high end anyways I do most certainly plan to pick up some products from this I haven't decided what colors I'm thinking oof I don't know, I almost want to pick everything up. I might pick up all of the eye duos, even though I never use those, so I should probably only pick up one. And definitely this glow lust. I actually, I'm a phony. I have not watched her reveal video yet. I just haven't gotten the chance to, but I'm very interested. I always love supporting influencer brands. If it's something that I feel like they really are passionate about, this is my vibe. I really like it. I'm very, very excited for it. Oh, oh, okay. I had to mention the Kaleidos palette collaboration with Angelica Nikas. She is beautiful. Now, I will say, this isn't my color story. There are definitely beautiful, beautiful colors in there, but that vibrant green, all of the blues personally aren't you know, they don't make it a color story that I would fall in love with. However, it is totally, totally, totally Angie, and I love that. And this is supposed to be sent to me in PR, so I will definitely be doing a review for you. I'm so excited for you, Angie. The palette looks amazing. I can literally see her wearing these eyeshadows just by looking at this palette. Such a fun palette. If you're looking for a great channel to support, please, please, please pick up this palette. It is available for pre-order. Yay! Oh! I'm so excited. I can't wait to receive mine. ColourPop has also revealed their Animal Crossing collection, which will be available January 28th. And this collection is really cute. And the eyeshadow palettes are surprisingly adorable. And you guys know I love my blushes. I think this collection is going to be a pretty big deal because so many people love Animal Crossing. I was never a big Animal Crossing person, so the nostalgia of this doesn't really sit with me. I don't think I'm going to be picking anything up from this. I've been recently added to the ColourPop PR list, but I haven't <laughs> received really any PR, so I don't know if I'll be getting this or not. If I do get it in PR, I will most definitely be reviewing it for you guys, but as far as out of my own pocket, I'm gonna have to pass on that particular collection, but you guys know ColourPop stole my money in 2020, so <laughs> it's fine. And I saw these in store the other day, so Pixie released their new collaboration palettes that they do with multiple influencers at the beginning of every year and I'm always so attracted to these palettes. I almost almost got that lip palette. I just I, I don't know why <laughs> I almost got it. The Tina Young eyeshadow palette I thought was really pretty and I love Promise. So these are really pretty but they aren't exciting colors to me so as of now they're all definitely a drop from my shopping list at the current moment. All right y'all here's the goods. Let's talk about the Natasha Denona mini love collection. I already bought it. I bought it from the Natasha Denona website this time so we will see when it comes. I'm hoping to get this video up the day that I'm filming it and I'm hoping according to FedEx it's supposed to come tomorrow. We will see and then I'll get that up for you tomorrow. So excited about this. Now is it something that I think 
think you need? No, <laughs> especially if you have the big love palette already, but I still am excited to share my thoughts with you guys. And if, I don't know, you guys know I really love pink, purple, mauve kind of eyeshadows. So I feel like this is something I'm gonna really like if the quality is really good. And I'm in love with that cheek duo. I like that there's a cream blush and it's her baked gelée highlighter formula. And it's such a pretty packaging. It's the same as the quad. And the lipstick also surprisingly really caught my eye. Normally the lipsticks don't catch my eye, but I feel like I'm gonna love this lipstick. I'm all about this collection, oddly enough. Like, I can tell it's something that I don't need, and a lot of you guys also probably don't need, but the packaging is so pretty. I love pinks and purples. I'm so excited for this. I did not expect to be, but I did pick it up, and of course, I'm going to be reviewing it, and I'm excited about it. And then another ColourPop collection, that this is the Wild Child collection, and it has rich chocolate tones and warm neutrals. Honestly, this collection sexy. It is gorgeous. Again, it's not anything I need, not anything I'm gonna personally spend my own money on, but I like the way she looks. Like, if I didn't have the makeup collection that I had and I wore makeup like a regular person, this is the kind of collection that I would pick up because these are my evening delicious chocolate tones that I love to wear because I'm, I'm crazy. I'm a pass on that. <laughs> And then, of course, of course, of course, this is the release that inspired this whole video for me. Divine Rose 2. Pat McGrath finally revealed her newest collection. I've been waiting for her to come out with something big. It's not that big of a collection, and <sighs> I got some thoughts, you guys. She's re-releasing the Divine Rose 2 palette, and like, this is the Divine Rose 2 collection, which a little bit overplayed at this point, right? The last Divine Rose product, I was like, all right. All right, Pat. And so this time I'm like, oh, all right, Pat. So she's re-promoting the Divine Rose 2 in the pink packaging, which I think is a really smart idea if she's gonna do this collection anyways. I got myself the pink packaging, okay? It's a shame if you did have to get the black packaging because you missed out on the pink, but you still wanted the pink. But the packaging, let me show you. Let me show you. I mean, if you don't have the palette, this really is one of my favorite palettes and you cannot beat this packaging and the palette itself is so stunning. So I'm happy to see her re-promote that, but you guys know I'm a thirsty, thirsty girl when it comes to Pat McGrath. So uh, I was hoping for a new Pat McGrath palette. <laughs> My mom, when she first saw the promotion photo, she was like, that looks like the last palette. And I was like, mom, that is the last palette. And she was like, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> but what is actually new in the collection is this quad, the Eternal Eden Rose Inspired Quad. Oh my goodness. I love this. Again, it's nothing special, but I'm so attracted to rosy, pinky tones. I'm really excited about this palette. I'm definitely gonna be getting that. And then also we have the Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. This is $48. It is quite pricey, and it's not as exciting to me as the quad. I'm not a huge stan for this formula in particular. I think it's the same as her trio formula. It's a nice formula, and I'm definitely gonna pick it up, and I bet you it's gonna look beautiful on the skin, but I was disappointed with her last big highlighter that came out. This is a completely different formula. I like the whole vibe, the whole packaging, everything. I have high hopes for it. I think it could be really pretty, but it could either be really pretty or just not worth it at all. So of course, that's why I'm going to pick it up to let you guys know because it could go either way. But hopefully it just looks like wet deliciousness on the skin and then we're good. Also in the collection, she has an Ultra Glide Pencil in Black Coffee. I don't think I'll be picking that up. I don't need an eyeliner. Ultra Lip Pencils and Buff in Suburbia. I believe I have both of those. Dark Star Mascara. Okay. And then it looks like there is a liquid lipstick of some sort. Yes. Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick and Divine Nude and Divine Rose. I do think I'm going to pick up both of those. I have only my OG Pat McGrath lovers will know. I have a whole collection of liquid lipsticks from when her collection first launched a few years back. I really liked these. I love the colors that she chose. Of course, I chose like the two ugliest colors in the collection, but she doesn't sell these anymore and nobody really ever had talked about these, but I had a color that was one of my all-time favorite lipsticks for the longest time. But anyways, new liquid lipstick formula. Liquid lipsticks, in my opinion, are back because of the mask situation, and I bet you they're beautiful colors, so I do plan on picking that up. I like to add blush. Where is the blush? She's been talking about coming out with blush. 
We've been begging for blush. And tell me that this wouldn't be the perfect collection. For guess what? A blush. So... I need to know what's up with this blush formula. Why are we struggling to get it out? Because this was a... If she was going to do a Divine Rose collection again, like for the third time, if there was a blush in it, I would have been okay. But the fact that she did another rose collection without a blush... I'm frustrated. Yes, I know it's not that serious, but like... Mother, we want blush. Just DM me. Tell me why. Please. Please. All right, you guys, I think that is it. I think I've covered pretty much everything that I want to talk about for today's video, with the exception of this. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lips. That I feel like everybody has come out with some sort of like tinted lip balm, shiny lip formula. Like right now, I'm wearing the Milani. I don't remember what these are called, but in the shade Tied Up. And it's just like this glossy, moisturizing lipstick lip balm hybrid and mm, I really like these they kind of slip everywhere so wear them with a the lip liner but they're they get the job done so anyways I feel sad because I wanted to buy all of Charlotte Tilbury's releases for 2021 and then they've been boring to me so I, I've like skipped on every one um okay now for realsies we are done I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful let me know what you plan on picking up and your thoughts on these new collections if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so since we just hit 50k join the family and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one